Yeah, Lourdes and Ray, we've seen a growing police presence over the course of the last hour and a half or so. You can see they put up yellow tape here to keep people away from that ongoing search. Uh, just before the sun set, we saw at least one diver head into the water. At this point, police are not telling us why they're here or if the search is connected to Peter Salvino, but this area is where his family says his cell phone last pinged. Even as the search continues, there are missing posters of Peter taped to trees and light poles here at Diversity Harbor. Peter is a neuroscience doctoral student at Northwestern, and he was last seen just before midnight Saturday after leaving a party. His family grew concerned when their calls went straight to voicemail, and then he didn't show up to meet his dad at the Bears game on Sunday. The family has been working nonstop to find video of Peter to retrace his steps that night. The popular Wiener Circle says he's a regular there, and they tweeted a photo of him. His family says he was there right before he attended that party. They say he left the party around 1130, walked east toward the lake from there, FaceTimed with a friend at 1158, and said he was cold and he was just a half mile from home. Peter's brother-in-law spoke with Dews Nation about how much the family misses him and how hard they are working to find him. He's an incredible guy. Um, you know, he's like a lot of us. He's an unfortunate Bears and White Sox fan. We love going to games together. Um, we suffer through all of that together. So um, he's just a great guy and we miss him. And, you know, we're praying for a Christmas miracle and we are we're going to bring him home. And again, the search continues here at Diversity Harbor. So far, police have not said what exactly they're looking for or what they may have found in the water. But as soon as we learn more information from them, we, of course, will let you know. For now, we're live at Diversity Harbor. Jenna Barnes, WGN News.